So one, like, one thing that, I mean, it's a good realization. I guess I hesitate to say like it's a great or it's powerful, but like, I mean, this is, I feel like this is kind of something. I'm hesitating to like be like, oh, this is like, or to like, essentially I'm hesitating to like hype it a lot, but like the order of things, like whether it's a night out or it's your entire life that you're looking at, or it's a week, even maybe. I mean, it should apply to a week too, but like especially like a night out as, is where I is where I experience it a lot. Like when I go downtown, um, because there's like a when I go downtown, or even I mean it would apply to like bucks too and stuff. I think it's not just downtown, but like a night out. You could probably apply it to a date, maybe. I mean, if there's a negative element in the date, but like the order, you could apply it to like high school and like your years in high school, the order of how things goes like may affect your perception and like the order matters. And I guess to be conscious of that or maybe even learn how to like see beyond, to not, to see through, I don't know. I don't know if see through is a word, but like to not be caged in in your perception of a night or a week or a month or your life by the order of how things happen. To be able to understand that the order affects things, affects your perception on whether said thing is good or bad. Because like, let's say I go for a night out and downtown and I run into person A, it's a beautiful experience, like beautiful, like it makes me happy, like great experience. Person B, slightly good experience. Person C, slightly negative experience. Person D, hugely negative experience. Because the negative experience happened later on, like, and granted, if one of the earlier experiences is so positive, like so positive, it might still um, have presence even with the later negative experiences, but because the negative experience was closer to the end, that will affect my perception of like the whole night potentially. And especially if there's maybe even especially, I think if there's like little negative experiences either surrounding or also in the night, like you could almost like, you could almost like create some kind of like scale of like, or like way of weighing things because like the closer a negative experience is, to the end affects things a certain way. Um, a negative experience happening toward the beginning of the night or the day or the week or, or the, or your life or whatever can affect things a certain way. I don't know how everything like weighs out, but a negative experience close to the end. And, and I, like, really there, there's, there's like, they weigh out differently, and I don't know exactly how that works, I guess. But, like, because it might be that the worst or the biggest power a negative experience will have is, this, is if it's, like, close to the end versus the very end. Because maybe if it's at the very end, like, maybe, like, the positive stuff or the rest of the night is more so already ingrained in you. Maybe it's, like, if it's, like, if a negative, if a big negative experience is close to the end, like it's where it has its most power uh, perhaps but there's there is like kind of like and maybe it even differs for different people maybe even because our minds are different you know maybe some people even aren't affected by order maybe i don't know maybe i don't know people are different but i would think you might be i would think a positive experience has the most power Maybe when there's no other negative experiences surrounding it, maybe. Otherwise, like I know, I, I would think a positive experience can save your night or your week or your, and then it probably also works differently in a, like a night versus a week. Like if we're talking like a week, 
a negative experience, I don't know when it would have its most power. Maybe it, like, there's, it had, I don't know how all that, I don't know the, like, the, the intricate, like, ways that things weigh out. Because it might, like, I think when I was describing, like, where negative has the most power and where positive has the most power, I think I was, I would want to say that I was thinking more in terms of, like, a night out or something. But how things weigh out for a night out may be different or for, like, an evening or, like, a span of hours like that or, an, or a short event like that may weigh differently than a week or a month or your life. As far as your life, I would think um, I would think the most negative is kind of might be kind of like my situation, or at least a certain part of my life time as if you have like like, not that I had a perfect upbringing because I struggled with my parents, like, um, you know, and whatever. Like, it's not like I had a perfect, like, upbringing, but there's still, like, there's at least may maybe it's as far as who I was um, or something. Because even though I, I don't know, like, even though I experienced struggles with, people, maybe classmates to some degree. I mean, I don't know how big that was, but like disappoint little at least little disappointments in people, but maybe that wasn't like a huge thing. Struggled with excuse me, parents. Um whatever there was, like I myself like was a certain kind of person and I think that was a good person that I was. Even if back then maybe I still guilted myself excuse me, or got on myself. But, like, <laughs> the and the irony is back then, like, in whatever young years, it's possible that, that somewhere in my younger life, I, I guilted myself, or I got them, or I, like, had guilt or whatever. I don't know if that happened when I was very young, or if it was more so, like, like, high school, or when, and high school was weird for me, too, but... Somewhere along the line, when I was younger, whatever younger is, was a self that even in that, even if in that time, perhaps I didn't realize what I was or, but looking back at whatever younger self, like that was a me that I was, at least looking back, I was happy with, it was a good me. And because negative all these disappointments with people of not keeping their word, women acting certain ways, like all this, all these bad experiences with people. Um, there's that element, but also, and maybe because of that, like I feel I, there, it's gotten to a point in past years and maybe even still applies to now that I feel like a oh, me that I'm not as proud of. And so I think, at least for me, maybe for people in general, when you have a positive, like I said back then, I may have not seen it the same way, but looking back, I see whatever time I count as this younger self, whether it's super young or junior high or whatever. Back then, I, d I don't think I per se, I might not have seen myself in the light I see myself in when looking back. Back then, I may not have seen it that way, perhaps, but... When you have a positive in the beginning and then have a really negative later on, I feel like that's the strongest negative. If you are used to negative, like you are born into negative, and then you have positive later on, I feel like that might be the greatest positive. If it's a powerful positive, like a positive that saves you or just is beautiful in comparison to the negative that you faced at first. So I think as far as life-wise... I think those might be um, the biggest strength of the, of the negative and the biggest strength of the positive. When you had positive growing up and then you're struck by huge negative, that might mess you up. Or some variation of that. Like, And then when you have um, 
really negative, like that's what you're used to, and then you have like powerful positive come into your life, that's going to be the strongest positive, I think. If we throw like a middle scenario in there, which is what might end up happening with my life, I don't know. Like, so if let's say it was positive, turns really negative, even though they're still positive in these years. So I don't know. It's it's not like it's, and that's also another reality is that like even if things seem really negative, there's there might be strong positive in there too. Like right now in my life, like there's strong positive and there's. It's, I mean, but maybe it's that I'm, like, slowly, like, growing or, like, there's positive also coming into my life, but part of it might also be that I'm, like, growing or learning or, like, figuring slightly the negative. So maybe it's a growth process. I don't know. But what I'm supposed to be talking about is order. So I talked about, like, a night out example. I talked about a life example. Um, and in a week, if it's a week situation, um, I got to go watch a movie. So actually, so you can think about the week situation or something, but order, order of how things happen to you matters. I got to go watch King Richard. <laughs>